Hello nerds and all you beautiful people out there. So this is going to be a really fun video where I'm going to go to all these amazing bookstores in London, my favorite ones, and also try some new ones. We're just going to, I'm going to give you a tour of all the best ones, mostly science fiction and fantasy, some second hand, some brand stores. It's going to be really fun. So right now we are on the 94 on our way to Chiswick where it starts and this Oxfam book store is quite a bit outside of London and the central ones but there are loads of other Oxfam bookstores that sell secondhand books and you should check out the ones that are closest to where you're staying when you're here but the other ones are really close to each other so you have walking distance but we're gonna start at Oxfam in Chiswick. So the reason why I love this particular Oxfam is because they have so many great secondhand books that are actually really new that have just been released. It's like a great atmosphere, super calm. So let's go inside and check out the books. Funny story, this is a Harry Potter computer game and I used to have this Harry Potter computer game that was like the fifth movie after they came out and I didn't have a computer so I was using my mother's computer to play it and it was so frustrating because I could never actually get it right all the time and so once I started playing really hard on the computer and I broke my mom's computer and after that I just been too scared of like playing the game because I obviously can't control my anger when it comes to Harry Potter. standing outside Hatchards and this one is at Piccadilly Circus. It is like the only bookstore that is Hatchards in London that I know of and it's a really old bookstore. So the floors are crooked and it has a spiral staircase. It's awesome. So let's check it out. All right, so now we're outside Waterstones at Piccadilly, and although this isn't the best or closest Waterstones, it's definitely the biggest. We also have a cafe upstairs, which I super appreciate in the bookstore. Alright, now we're outside Orville Comics and they have everything from comic books, manga, graphic novels, and it's a little bit of a smaller store and they also have secondhand stuff. And right now it's at Leicester Square, so let's go and check it out. So I came in here looking here for actually the second comic in the Darker Shades of Magic comic series that they're adapting now by Victoria Schwab. 
but I found instead Paper Girls Volume 6, which I didn't know was released yet, which is super exciting. It's an awesome like sci-fi comic, and also of Brandon Sanderson's White Sand Volume 2, which I didn't know had been released in these collectible editions, only like the hardcover ones. And also Monstrous uh, Volume 2, which I was recommended to me by you guys, and I'm really loving it, so it's awesome. So now we're at Gosh Comics, which is close to Soho, and here we have actually two floors of comics and manga, so it's a bit of a bigger comic book store, and they have a lot of self-published uh, comic books and graphic novels, as well as a lot of small publishing companies. So let's go inside and see all the comics. No, thank you. I you can you have to put it in. So I found some pretty cool things. I did find uh, volume three of Venture Time, but not four, unfortunately. And then also Rick and Morty. This one, I don't think I know which volume this is, but is a signed copy, which is super cool. Sarah Crayley. And then I also got Are You Listening by Tilly Walden, which is also the creator of that other cool graphic novel that I don't remember the name of. outside Forbidden Planet and as it turns out actually I, we thought this was a spiritual bookstore but it turns out to be a super super awesome uh, like science fiction fantasy bookstore with loads of like fandom collectibles books and they have like a huge part pool of uh, all types of fantasy sci-fi like it's actually insane if you're in London you need to go to this place it was amazing Look at that! Signed copies everywhere! I am so overwhelmed. We just found this bookstore and we've never been here. It's like way better than science fiction books are about home, which I don't say lightly. It has everything. This is crazy. Here's some stuff that we got. My mom got a Harry Potter Luna Lovegood travel card holder, which is super cute. And I actually found a Clockwork Orange t-shirt, which is so exciting. I don't have like any fandom items uh, by them. And also the third book in this series. I still haven't read the second one. This is Queen of Fire, the third book in the Raven Shadow. And I just realized it was a signed edition, which is so cool. As well as the Stage of Magic Still Prince, the second volume, which I have been looking for in the other comic books. And it's two off, which is perfect. So this Watcher Stones is my favorite because not only does it have a great selection in SFF books, but they have these really cute uh, walkways where you walk and then there's a big room and then you walk and there's a big room. So every room is very closed off and quiet. And I really like that. So it also has multiple floors and it does have a cafe, but it's a very dull one. So but let's go inside.
So this right here is Gay's The Word, which is a super cool gay bookstore supporting uh, gay and queer authors as well as gay topics, queer topics, diverse topics like that. So it's a really niche and really fun bookstore. It's such a great one. It's the why I love London so much because they can have bookstores like this and still survive. So let's go inside and check it out. Books, a second hand shop or antique bookshop, and it's right next to Gay's The Word, which is how I found it kind of. I was just walking past, and they do have a lot of great new titles and fiction, and just overwhelming amount of books, which I love about second hand bookshops. Let's go inside. So now we're on our way home and we've been to visit all the great bookshops. I hope you guys are checking some of these out if you ever come to London or if you live here. And I want this to be a forum where if you have been to any great bookshops in London, then you can comment those all down below so other people who come to this video can also get more recommendations and I can go to check some of them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and I'll talk to you guys soon.